I know it's not the most highly rated, but I actually do rather like Curse of Chucky. I do think, though, that this feels quite separate from the main series. Uh, I'm not sure why. It just feels it feels lower budget. It feels like... Not a parody, that's not the word I'm looking for, but it, it just feels kind of disconnected from the rest. But regardless, being a, a Chucky fan, I really like this. It was released in 2013, written and directed by Don Mancini, and, of course, stars everybody's favourite redhead doll, Chucky. And the description from IMDb is as follows. After her mother's mysterious death, Nika begins to suspect that the talking, red-haired doll her visiting niece has been playing with may be the key to recent bloodshed and chaos. There's one thing that I think is particularly interesting about this one, and it's the fact that Nika is in a wheelchair. And that means that, obviously, she can't run away from Chucky. And I think that's a really interesting thing, that horror films don't really use that much. It makes her ex- you know, a lot more vulnerable. And the fact that her niece is only five years old as well, um, her niece Alice, I think there's a lot in this that makes it feel different to the other Chucky films, because Alice is quite young, and obviously her aunt being in a wheelchair means that she's a lot more vulnerable, or at least unable to escape as quickly. And I think that that's an interesting thing for them to do. The actual narrative is pretty similar to the rest of them. Chucky turns up, he seems like a good guy, and ironically, and then all hell breaks loose. I like it. The atmosphere is very good. It does feel lower budget than the others. I'm not sure why. I think mostly it's the setting. The, you know, there are not many locations it's all kind of within the same space which often gives a vibe of low budget not not always but it 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 can do apparently the budget was five million which i mean that's more money than i will ever see but compared to a lot of other films but for the sixth child play film you know you'd think after six films they'd start to wear thin and get a little bit dull but actually I still think Chucky is a really fresh character. There's been a pretty decent length of time between this one and the previous one. So for me, I think they waited, you know, long enough to bring it back. And obviously there's been a film since this one. And yeah, Chucky to me is still going strong. This one, it's atmospheric. It works well. I really like the narrative. I like the development of the narrative. I like the characters. The characters are a lot more well-rounded than perhaps I had expected very well acted. Visually, Chucky looks pretty much like he always does. I think he looks good. I like the design of Chucky. I never find Chucky to be that scary. These are usually comedy horrors, but I find that this one's less comedy and more horror. And it works. It is a lot more atmospheric than a lot of the predecessors. Curse of Chucky is a really good film. As I said, it feels a little bit different to most of the others. Um, so it feels a little bit disconnected. But it's a film that I really enjoy. If you like the Chucky films, if you're a fan of Child's Play, you will have to watch this. I think you will enjoy it. Personally, I'd happily watch it again.